If not treated, HIV can damage the body's defense system and increase risk to other infections. Thereafter, the virus can affect many parts of the body, including the respiratory system, skin, and the nervous system. Welcome back, friends of Mark Medicals. In today's video, I will answer a question from one of our viewers. The question today is, what HIV does to your body? In this video, I will talk about the following. 1. How HIV infects your body. 2. Stage 1 of HIV infection. 3. Stage 2 of HIV infection. 4. Stage 3 of HIV infection. 5. Why you need to get started on HIV medications urgently. If you are new to our channel or page, please subscribe so that you don't ever miss our weekly health tips from Mark Medicals. Alright, let's get started now. 1. How HIV infects your body. Following an HIV exposure and subsequently HIV infection, the virus after gaining entry into the body attacks special white blood cells called CD4 cells, also called T helper cells. CD4 cells and other family of white blood cells are responsible for body's defense against all diseases. HIV after identifying your CD4 cells attaches to it and gains entry into the CD4 cell. If HIV manages to enter into your CD4 cell, we say you have been infected by the virus. Upon entry, the virus orders your CD4 cell to stop whatever it was doing, and instead start making only copies of the HIV virus. In the process of making copies of the virus, your CD4 swells and bursts immediately after releasing copies of the virus. As a result, your CD4 cell counts begin to reduce and over time, if your CD4 cell count falls below 200, you will get what is called AIDS. You will suffer from AIDS because your CD4 cells count is not enough to fight off body infections. Normal CD4 cell count ranges from 500 to 1600 cells per cubic milliliters. 2. Stage 1 of HIV infection. HIV has infection has three stages. That is stage 1, stage 2, and stage 3. Stage 1 is also called acute infection stage. This is the time that follows immediately HIV infection. In stage 1, the virus is rapidly multiplying in the body while the person is not. The common symptoms in stage 1 is only flu-like symptoms. In other people, reported symptoms include fever muscle pains, headache rash, swollen lymph nodes, and fatigue. Note that. The person in stage 1 is much more infectious than in the other stages. 3. Stage 2 of HIV infection. This is also called chronic stage of HIV infection. In stage 2, the virus is not multiplying rapidly as in stage 1, although the person is also infectious. Stage 2 is almost symptom-free, but if not treated, soon the patient will drift to stage 3, which is bad news. 4. Stage 3 of HIV infection. Stage 3 of HIV infection is also called AIDS. The virus has depleted CD4 cells to below 200 cells. A person is said to have AIDS when CD4 cells fall below 200, or when the person develops an AIDS-defining opportunistic infection like toxoplasmosis, HIV-related cancers, and others. In stage 3, the body's defense system is weakened such that the patient suffers from many illnesses and so on. The patient may be bedridden. 5. Reasons you need to get started on HIV medications urgently. If left untreated, the patient over years will develop and die of AIDS. Note that AIDS is synonym meaning a collection of many diseases, which comes your way once your immunity or CD4 cells have been destroyed. HIV medication stops the virus from multiplying and with time. All the virus circulating in blood will be eliminated by the body and medications. If this happens, we say you have a suppressed viral load or undetectable viral load. By achieving this, you will live a health and a productive life. And what is sweet is that you won't infect your loved ones with HIV. As I end this video, if you have any question, please share in the comments section below. Please share and like our video. Thanks for subscribing.